Hello, today I'll be making a video on Cablegate. And if you've been on social media and you're interested in Toyota uh, RAV4 Primes specifically, or the hybrid editions of the RAV4, then this may be affecting you, or you may be a little, uh, I guess, curious to know what that is about, and what's going on. Well, I'm going to try to summarize it. I'm going to try to show you some of the pictures. And I'm going to try to cover um, what I know right now. This is relatively new, and I know there's a lot of talk out in the media right now as to uh, what is being done, what it is, who it's affecting, and so forth. So let's dive right into it. By the way, if you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. That really, really helps us out. We certainly appreciate that. So first off, uh, I've got, as you saw in my other videos, or if you haven't, checked those out. Um, I bought a Toyota RAV4 Prime. It's an SE 2021. And of course, I started getting a lot of emails saying, hey, uh, you know, how'd you like it? I've got a hybrid. What about the cable? Do you have the same problem? And at first I was like, what cable? What are they talking about? And uh, as I mentioned in my previous videos of things I did not like about the Prime, uh, I was starting to get a little concerned because, of course, you plop down forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars for uh, a car, and you'll add you know things to it to make it better. You'll rust proof it. You'll add uh, protection to it. To whatever it is, the point is, is you're expecting your your uh, utility SUV to uh, last you a while, and you certainly in this day and age don't want to keep trading it in because you're concerned with parts that might degrade faster than usual. Uh, I even had some emails of people saying, hey, that's why I suggest buying the uh, extended warranty, which is not my opinion, by the way. This is just what uh, somebody wrote me. And um, I personally did not take the extended warranty on the vehicle. Uh, being in IT, I've seen what manufacturers do and how things work. And generally, they're not a great idea. Of course, you can, you know, start a whole conversation with me below if you want. Um, but the point is, obviously, the majority of people will not need the warranty in most cases. Of course, you could be getting, um, I'm not going to say a lemon per se, but you could be getting the one, uh, you know, SUV truck car that has more problems than others. And of course, in that case, you would be uh, very lucky to have the extended warranty and to have it covered. Now, of course, on the flip side, of course, uh, people have been sending uh, or pay posting pictures of their invoices. Some have been going to dealers, uh, either concerned or having problems. In some cases, the dealer says, no problem, we'll inspect it for free. They'll fix it and pass it on the warranty. Others will actually get charged to have it inspected. And then they're told, well, you know, you're going to have to pay. And in some cases, this is a small fortune. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So the vehicle, as you know, is um, you know, it's, it's a great vehicle. It looks great. And let's take a quick look at uh, what we're talking about. So as you may know, the electrification of the RAV4 means that you've got battery, which is basically the, the, the flat uh, part here, um, which basically sends power to in both directions just because there's motors in the front and there's motors in the back. And uh, the whole, I'm trying to oversimplify this, so uh, please don't get too annoyed if I'm generalizing. But uh, the, the whole point is you've got a lot of wires. And what we're particularly interested right now is the main wire, which is, let me see if you can show it, but it's basically this main wire here. And yes, this is in French, I'm uh, in the province of Quebec. And so the point is it's identified here as being part of the hybrid system. And what you're looking at specifically here, we're going to get more and more into detail, is when you take, there's a little uh, plastic here that's been removed, and you'll see there is an orange connector right here. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but the point is, is this will actually, let's see if I can, I can bring this a little bigger. And these are pictures that uh, come from the internet, so I basically found those. And we can... Um, basically clearly see the connector here and this is where the wire is going off into one direction here and another direction there. Now the whole cable gate is the fact that this um, plastic cover appears to be allowing water and more particularly salt if you're up in the uh, where they use a lot of, of calcium to try to you know melt the ice in the winter and so forth, uh, then it's a, a terrible chemical, I guess, to add into something electrical. So what happens is, I think you can kind of see it here, is basically the water will 
you know, get into there and, from what I understand, get caught at the bottom of this. And what happens is at that point it will start to split just from, uh, you know, potentially from freezing or potentially from, uh, uh, you know, the corrosion that starts in there. So it, it gets worse and worse and then you end up with something like this where it's terribly corroded and then of course you're going to end up with hybrid system related issues and this might be every anything from crazy error messages and I say crazy in general term here not literally crazy but um, so you're going to be getting some you know perhaps slightly random or just you know the hybrid system can't be used right now you're you're now if you're on a prime for example it will just not go to electric mode you'll just be on the hv mode so you'll get things like that and of course at its worst the car just won't start won't go and then you need to have it towed and then you need to deal with this now keep in mind that um right now since it is relatively new and this is a sort of a, a decent one versus one that's uh, started to corrode the point is is if you bring it in and you've got a corrosion problem to the point where your car will no longer work you bring it into the dealer you'll get two surprises potentially even if it is covered by warranty so if the dealer is, is great and accommodating they say no problem uh, you need to replace it with another wire they probably don't have that in stock. Now, they might not even be able to order that uh, in the sense that, you know, they're not going to get it overnight. So they will place an order for it. But when you get it, it could be days, weeks, um, even longer than that. So depending on when, of course, when you watch this video, this hopefully will all be over, uh, you know, if you watch this in the future. Uh, the other thing, too, that you will notice is uh, that they did... Um, basically create a replacement part for this and this is the part number so it's 821H1 dash I think this is a 0R011 and this is what it looks like basically uh, fixed up and to my you know, my naked eyes anyways or to my opinion it looks like they simply just took out a piece of the, the side here uh, in order for the air or for the liquid to get back out. Um, I'm saying air just so it's more aerated and perhaps it's going to uh, be better. So if they take out the old one, they put in the new one, this would be it. Now the big concern out there, no surprise, is if it's a design flaw, if it's just not well thought out and it's, you know, this problem with the design, then replacing the cable with another cable just like it is going to in effect, just buy you a bit of time until it happens again. Uh, people right now are reporting they're getting this problem after two, three, four years. Uh, the kilometers or the mileage doesn't seem to be a major factor. So in other words, if you've got your your SUV and you've parked it outside and, and you don't use it that much, it doesn't mean that you're not prone to corrosion um, any more than someone who's using it for his daily commute and who's got you know, thousands of thousands or tens of thousands of miles more than you do. So this is why there's a lot of concern out there. Um, I expect Toyota to do the right thing and I expect them to really go back out there and see that the hybrids and potentially the primes and I'm not sure who else is using this cable or which other models are using this cable, but uh, clearly it will be affecting uh, hundreds of thousands of people, if not more and they're going to want to come up with a rock solid solution. Now I know some of you have sent me emails saying, ah, just put, you know, type, I've had people, you know, suggest greases in there, um, you know, plastic wrapping it and, you know, they got like a shrink wrap and anyway, so I've had a lot of you uh, send me uh, different techniques or things you thought could fix this i don't know I mean, if you've got good ideas and then you know you've got videos or pictures of it please send them i would love to see them um you can contact me just go to ctobob.com and you can reach me through there at the end of the day um you've got to check with your dealer or with toyota america or canada wherever you happen to be and deal with the toyota there but uh you got to make sure that you don't void your warranty and of course if you're going to be curious now and say oh i wonder if i've got this problem You've got to keep in mind this, um, or, yeah, the wire specifically, but the, the whole area, uh, it's very high voltage. So the last thing you want to do is go and try to pry this thing open with a screwdriver and electrocute yourself. So please keep that in mind 
and do not work on this uh, unless you you know make sure you've got have the proper equipment the, the gloves and the whole works but uh you, it's best left to the dealers they're equipped for it at the end of the day anyways if you're going to uh, want this replaced or this inspected you're gonna have to go to the dealership anyways so I would certainly recommend just by personal opinion that uh, you try to go that route if you're having a problem with your dealer and they, they want to charge you an exorbitant amount or whatnot uh, maybe try a different dealer or two I mean it's uh, it, it, you know there are individuals that work there and sometimes they may not understand uh, exactly what this is perhaps they haven't read up on it and so forth but this will get documented I get a feeling very quickly since this is out on Facebook, it's out on Twitter. Um, I'm part of a petition as well to, uh, to Toyota so that they will make sure that they honor the warranty when this breaks because I get a feeling this is not an if this corrodes, it's more of a when this corrodes from everything that I've seen and all of the pictures that I've been sent and all the, the different documentations online. So I'm Bob Peller and CTO Bob. I hope this was helpful. Um, please leave some comments below. I love reading those. Uh, please try to be kind. Uh, you know, I, I'm trying my best here, and this is, uh, I'm not an auto mechanic. I'm a technology expert, so uh, just passionate about electric vehicles and plug-ins and hybrids, and that's why I do these to try to keep you informed and to keep you entertained, of course. So hopefully I'm doing a decent job at that. So, so you can reach us, as I mentioned, at ctobob.com, and of course we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.